This little box came in the mail today, all the way from Duluth, Minnesota, from my new friend and subscriber, Mr. Austin. He contacted me a few weeks back and said, I have something I'd like to send you that you might really like. And Mr. Austin, you would be correct. What have we got here? It's too good to be true. A Stanley number 49 bit gauge with its original box, but more than that. Shall we? Look at it. It's brand new. Brand new with the box. How is that possible? How is that possible? Oh, I like it. I've never seen one in person. I've seen them and on eBay, I've looked at them. I always wanted one for timber framing. They're hard to come by. If you want one of these, I would recommend you stop this video right now, go on eBay and get one because after this video comes up, they might be a little hard to find for a while. Man, isn't that cool? You're probably wondering what it is. Well, let us find out right now. So a bit gauge, it works with any bit. It can work with modern ones or it can work with the old ones, the bit and brace here. What it allows you to do, we're gonna to learn together here, is to set a particular depth. That way, let's say you have a whole bunch of holes and you wanna drill the same depth. I mean, it's quite a simple, a, a simple concept, but we're gonna try it out here. It's gonna to be bigger than that. So it looks to me, I mean, it's definitely got a top and a bottom. What it appears, there's no instructions, but I don't know that we really need instructions for this. Okay, so this is gonna be the bottom here, right there. Uh, that's gonna, we'll see. Well, let's just let's just put it together, see how it works. Okay, so let's say for example, so it's not made for giant bits. This is a one inch bit. This is the biggest uh, set of my Irwins. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's say for example, that is, in look at, that is really interesting how that works, isn't it? Okay, let's say for example, that we wanted to drill several one inch holes. We didn't want them inch and a half, we didn't want them too deep. And by going too deep, we might destroy whatever it is that we're doing. That's neat, it's got a little carriage bolt on there so it won't spin. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's brand, I know it's brand new. Now scratch on it, I looked it over really close. So let's say here that we want to drill those, those holes, right? All right, we'd measure from the cutting surface to here. We'll just say, you know, that's, that's probably three quarters of an inch or so. And what those feet do are they're gonna stop right when we get to, they're not gonna allow us to over drill and to go too far. Let's try it out. All right, let's give it a go right here. So we've got our one inch Irwin bit and set to about a three quarter inch depth. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So if I just go in hard and fast, yeah, it's nice, it, it's kind of cool because it, it, it breaks the, it pulls the, it strips the auger at the bottom so it quits pulling. Let's try another one, that's so fun, I'm gonna do two of them. Don't notice any negative effect, I don't even really feel it on there. That way we have nice, even, consistent depth all the way through. Oops, it got loose on me. Okay, so we just learned something here. So you don't do it that way. So what you, you don't go down so hard. So here, I know what to do now. That's how you learn. You learn by doing, right? Okay, so rather than just burying it in there like a Neanderthal, We'll watch it, so it, we come in and then as we get close, it's better anyway, because we don't want to mar the surface there. So that is a really neat, that's a really neat tool. Thank you, Mr. Austin, for that. That will be, uh, I will be in my, among my most special things. I have, uh, am so, uh, enjoy as collecting and acquiring these old tools, I you know, I've, I keep thinking somehow if the opportunity could come up, I'd love to be able to to teach uh, some classes with these old school tools or some different 
I don't know what it would be, but it would be fun to share them and and to uh, especially generation that is has never seen them before and are not likely to see them again. But this is a I mean, this is a museum piece here. I think it's a treasure. It's neat to have the original box, isn't it? Well, thank you again very much. I thought I just wanted to share that with you, and that's something we will definitely use in future projects. We'll keep it in there. And, wow, that's a good one. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Watch